You're not going any farther, Monarch. I'm still the Guardian, and I'm going to retrieve all the Miraculous you stole from me. <laughs> miraculous Ladybug is home to some of the cutest and most fascinating fictional creatures, the Kwamis. These divine and spirit-like beings have been around for centuries, and their actions throughout the series are what we're delving into in today's video. They are eager to learn everything about the world around them, which makes them quick to act when an opportunity arises. The little creatures get into trouble when they're left alone, and on purpose or not, it leads to some great moments. You really shouldn't be doing this, Trix. Remember the last time you used your power of illusion without a holder? Marinette must not reveal her secret. Mirage! Number 10. Trix uses Mirage. The Kwamis have many rules they must follow according to the Guardians. Trix breaks one of these rules in the episode Gang of Secrets. He does so to help Marinette escape from Lady Wi-Fi, but there is an adverse effect on the world around him. When a Kwame uses its power without a holder, it often has disastrous consequences. In Trix's case, he turns the Eiffel Tower's metal into something bendable. The French monument bends in the wind and the change is so noticeable that the news broadcasts it. There are few instances in the series where a Kwame uses their power alone, and it was interesting to see what kinds of illusions Trix can create, voluntarily or not. Oh, come on. Her miraculous ladybug will make everything all right anyway. I hope. Number 9. Plague tries to cataclysm Shadow Moth. Sometimes a bad situation requires desperate measures, like in the episode Ephemeral. In this alternate timeline, Gabriel discovers that Adrian is Cat Noir and obtains his miraculous. When Plague realizes this, he doesn't hesitate to call upon his cataclysm to attack Shadow Moth. As we've seen in the episode Destruction, this distinct power can cause pain and lasting effects when performed on a person. When Cat Noir accidentally lands a blow on Monarch, the villain leaves with a growing wound on his body. Ladybug can't reverse the effects with a lucky charm, and Gabriel continues to suffer from it as the season continues. Plague must have known this when he chose to cataclysm Shadow Moth. Yet the cost must have outweighed the means when preventing their enemy from obtaining his miraculous. Nuru Kaki! Easy monarch, or I'll cataclysm you! Checkmate, monarch! Number 8. Plague and Tiki pick new holders. Marinette and Adrian finally have the chance to be together in Season 5, but their hero responsibilities hold them back. Plague and Tiki hate to see their friends in so much pain, and they choose to find new holders so their previous ones can have a chance at happiness. In the episode Transmission, Tiki chooses Alia, who already has experience using the Ladybug Miraculous. Plague, in contrast, chooses Zoe, who falls naturally into the charming role that Cat Noir provides. They bond with their new holders but end up with Marinette and Adrian once more when Monarch nearly succeeds in stealing their Miraculous in the following episode, Deflagration. I'll never forget you, Marinette. You'll never forget me, Adrian. <laughs> Number 7. Plague helps Adrian become Catwalker. As Season 4 progressed, there were increasing tensions between Ladybug and Cat Noir. Ladybug chose to handle the stresses of her responsibilities alone, while Cat Noir believed he was left out of information and not utilized. A rift forms between them and in the episode, Kuroniko, Adrian gives up his miraculous. Plague is known for being mischievous and he puts his quick thinking to good use when Marinette suggests he find a new holder. With Tiki's help, he convinces Marinette that Master Fu has a second option for the Cat Miraculous. Under the guise of taking his Miraculous to his new holder, he returns to Adrian and convinces him to become a new hero. The two work together to create the perfect heroic identity and eventually create Cat Walker. Serious cat? A little too direct. Silky kitten? Mm, too cutesy. Night Whiskers? Number 6. Kalki comes to the rescue. The heroes are in a tight spot in the episode Optigami. After Gabriel learns the identity of a few Miraculous holders, he attempts to flush Ladybug out by inviting them to an event where he creates an akumatized villain. In their attempt to escape, Marinette and Adrian end up locked inside an elevator and can't transform. Left with few options, Marinette calls the Kwamis and asks for help. With some direction from Alia, Kalki saves the day using her power, Voyage. In doing so, she helps the heroes avoid the villain, Style Queen, and allows Marinette to escape the elevator to join the fight as Ladybug. Horse! She means you, Kalki! I am not a horse, I am a noble steed! I was the companion to the most glorious heroes! Number 5. Tiki uses Lucky Charm. With the Kwamis being centuries old, there are likely a few secrets about them that Marinette doesn't know. She learns something new about Tiki in the episode Dearest Family. After Tiki gets a taste of the Dupain Cheng family's famous guyette, she develops a craving that causes her to act out. 
The other Kwamis try to warn Marinette when they notice Tiki's odd behavior. But placing her faith in her Kwami, Marinette doesn't listen. Tiki's unsatiated hunger goes unchecked and she uses her lucky charm to create the sweet treat she desires. Her power makes a Gaiet so large that it overtakes Paris and threatens to crush the city beneath it. Tiki hadn't used her power without a holder before this, and the day could have ended in disaster if it hadn't been for Cat Noir and his cataclysm. I'm a Kwami of <laughs> Number 4. Tiki entrusts her lucky charm to the universe. In the episode Deflagration, Monarch finally locates the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous with the help of his alliance rings. Unknown to Alia and Zoe, their alliance rings tracked their movement when they transformed into heroes, which gave Monarch the information he needed to find their location and learn their identities. He then infiltrates their school, where he steals the Miraculous from them. Tiki and Plague know the dangers of their Miraculous being used to make a wish, and they do all they can to prevent the act from happening. Tiki chooses to use her lucky charm, but instead of trying to decipher it herself, she entrusts it to the universe. This allows the summoned object to end up in Marinette's hands, and she uses it to defeat Monarch. The galette your family created is really an exceptional event in the culinary history of humanity. Number 3. The Kwamis Try to Find Nuru the Kwamis are a very close-knit group as they spend their free time together in the Miracle Box or within the safety of Marinette's bedroom. They're friends who express concern for each other's safety on multiple occasions. This concern extends to the Kwamis, who haven't been with them for some time. Nuru and Dusu In the episode Sandboy, the Kwamis come together to celebrate Nuru's cycle, the Kwami equivalent of a birthday. They gather in the hopes of connecting with Nuru despite the distance between them so that they may free him from Hawk Moth's control. They do this unbeknownst to their holders and despite knowing the risks. Where do you think you're going, Nuru? Uh, I just wanted to go out. Number 2. Plague Destroys His Miraculous Plague exhibits the bravery and forethought to take desperate measures when necessary, and he does so when Monarch obtains his Miraculous in deflagration. While Tiki conjures a lucky charm to save them, Plague ensures that Gabriel can't make his wish by destroying his own Miraculous. His ring crumbles to dust, and Plague disappears, leaving Gabriel unable to rewrite the world in his image. Plague is restored alongside his Miraculous when Marinette uses Tiki's lucky charm to defeat Monarch. He had faith in his fellow Kwamis and the heroes who defended Paris, which meant his noble sacrifice wasn't in vain. <sighs> You're the best cat noir I've ever had, Adrian! Number 1. Sass Saves Their Universe one of the more powerful Miraculous is the snake, which gives its wielder the ability to reverse time. In the episode Ephemeral, this ability is put to the test when Gabriel finally obtains the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. He uses them to make his wish, assumedly to restore his wife Emily, which results in a world-ending event. Luca is sent to the Dupain Chang Bakery to find Sass, who explains that making a wish requires their world to be rewritten. Luca encourages Sass to stop the world from ending by using his ability Second Chance. In doing so, the Kwame reverses time to the inciting incident that led Gabriel to obtain the Miraculous. Although using his power without a holder causes aberrations in time, they were soon set right by Ladybug and Cat Noir, which means that Sass successfully saved the world. What's going on? Shadow Moth must have taken control of Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous, and he made a wish! Kwamis do less harm than good and their influence in the Miraculous Ladybug narrative is something that fans love to see. Without them, Paris wouldn't have the heroes who keep them safe or the villains who trouble them. They are always quick to protect those they care about, and they even, on occasion, save the world as humanity knows it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Oh, not so fast! May I remind you that Cat Noir is a very competent superhero and that your powers complement each other? I know. I can't do it without a Cat Noir.